Hey there, it's Corey the Yard Buddha. And today we're going to be trimming some gigantic arbovitas. Oh, nice. Perfect timing for a Yard Buddha video. The neighbor firing up that stuff, but my buddy asked me if I could come over and shape these up a little bit. He said they were about 15 feet, but these are at least 20. So, I'm just going to shave a little bit off the sides and take the tops off there. But I was going to do a time lapse video, but it's a little too windy out here today. So, I'm going to be safe and take it slow. Then I'll show you what gear I'm using here. Okay, so it really couldn't be worse conditions out here to be doing some arbitus but this is my only day off so let me show you how I arm up the yard Buddha arms up step one gloves Giant shears. Lastly, at five, whole chainsaw. Just kidding. If this was my house, though, I would cut all these down. I forgot to mention my most important and probably most favorite tool. This is my 10 foot Hasagawa pruning ladder from Japan. Super light. You can climb up to probably about the second to last step and still be super stable. I mean, it's maybe, maybe 40 pounds or so, but so far so good. I'm halfway through, haven't died yet. These have been tidied up a little bit here. And with that 10 foot ladder, I can probably get up. Those were probably like 17 feet. So I was able to reach most of the top, but so far so good. All right, so I finished up and it actually turned out to be a pretty good day. I mean, I never can complain if I'm working with plants outside in the sun, so these have all been tidied up. They really weren't in that bad of shape in the first place, but we can't always be like our fancy neighbors with their fancy athletic tight bushes. So, we have compacted them, gotten to the tops. I have found out the capacity of my ladder is about 18 feet that I can get to the top. I was able to get almost to every top. I did have to use my extended pole saw just to get that one up in the corner there because I couldn't get it from the deck. But got most of the tops and then this still trimmer here is a beast man the battery lasted over a couple hours and I actually borrowed it from a friend so Rusty if you're watching this I promise to lube it with some WD-40 and clean it and disinfect it and bring it back to you but thanks and then this guy I didn't use but what do we got here? We may uh, we may have some bonus project here. We got a couple shrubby shrubbies that aren't looking totally perfect. So my friend didn't ask me to do these, but bonus. And don't mind that awesome minivan over there. 
that Honda Odyssey is mine, 2003, 160,000 miles. So don't be jealous. So, five happy boxwoods just plowed through in probably like 20, 25 minutes. And I'm very happy with this. It's a Ryobi little hand trimmer. And it actually has a attachment for hedge on it too that's about eight, 10 inches. And this one is mine and I will lubricate it and disinfect it too, just like the other one, but. Oh, there's a tree talking to me behind me. What the, it says, help. What's going on with me? All right, right before I leave, your last one. All right, Yard Buddha has done enough love in this yard today. I had a whole lot of fun anytime outside playing with plants. So thanks for watching this video. If you wanna see me play in the yard again, give me a subscribe and a like, and thanks for watching.